Well, it's reckoned that £2 million has been found for pensioners here in the last year, money that was owed to them but which they didn't think about claiming. They found out that they were due that money after using the A to B benefit calculator, which has now been one year in operation on the line from A to B, is Patrick Min. Patrick, good morning. Good morning, Sarah. How does this work? Well, we set up um, the, the benefit calculator on a website. Uh, it's basically a questionnaire, a very simple uh, questionnaire, but that has a lot of complicated sums in the background hidden from view. And when you complete the questionnaire about your income and, and what entitlements you may already be receiving, at the end of that process, it gives you a report that tells you to the penny uh, exactly how much income-related benefit you should be getting every week. Um, and what we're doing is we're encouraging people, particularly at the moment, to basically treat their 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 benefits and entitlements like their like their health. Do a benefit check, just like you would a health check at the moment. There are various ways of doing that. There's already very good advice organisations in the northwest that'll give you face-to-face -face help or help over the phone. But if you want to do it anonymously and 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 uh, in the privacy of your own home, and if you're over 60, or if you're listening to this and somebody else in your family is over 60 and you can help them use this benefit cal calculator online we would encourage people to do that um, the, the other what's very current at the moment as well it's very important to do it for two reasons at the moment in particular um, a thing called the tariff income threshold has increased and what that means in plain English is that pensioners who qualify for pension credit for example mm. it used to be that there was a limit of six thousand pounds uh, before your allowance and your entitlement was then reduced gradually after that, that limit's actually gone up. So you can ha actually now have £10,000 in savings before it'll affect your entitlement. And that just changed last week. So even if you've been turned down in the past, you may now qualify. Uh, and the second wider reason is that this unclaimed money, the pension credit in particular, it's not Northern Ireland block grant money, and that means that for every penny that's lost to an individual older person here, it's actually lost to the local economy as well. So in fact, what we're trying to get across is that it's really good citizenship, particularly during the recession, to be claiming every single penny into the local economy, and who knows, it actually might save some jobs as well while we're at it. Well, why do people not claim for the most part, Patrick? There's well, there's three reasons, um, and uh, largely, we did a lot of uh, market research and workshops, and, and, and so we spoke to hundreds of older people to ask that very question. There were three reasons. One was a lack of awareness. A lot of people hadn't even heard of pension credit, or if they did, uh, if they had heard, they didn't know how it applied to them. So they were vaguely aware that something might apply to them, but they didn't know how much it applied to them, and there was no real incentive to find out. The second reason was the complexity of the benefit system, quite apart from just the, the how long and complex the application forms on, all the permutations of if you qualify for one thing, it disqualifies you for, from another, etc. That was very difficult to get people's heads around. But the big reason we think, and the biggest was... Uh and, and wariness about sharing financial information, particularly with statutory organisations, mm. uh, financial information like your savings. People were worried, for example, about uh, possibly losing what entitlements they already had if they shared too much information. So what we did with the benefit calculator and, and the reason we set it up this way um, is that it, it, you can do it completely anonymously. It's not just confidential, it's actually completely anonymous. You don't add your name or your NI number or your address or anything like that. You can actually find out your entitlement uh, before you approach any statutory organisation or share your identity with them. What about pension credits exactly? Because um, you're going to have to explain it to me, to be honest with you. Is it money in your hand, Patrick? Well, pension credit essentially is uh, it's split into two uh, sections. One is uh, uh, income guarantee, uh, uh, which says that essentially if, if you're single, for example, and you don't, uh, your income weekly combined doesn't come up to £130 a week, then pension credit really should make up the difference. Um, so, for example, if you've got a £95 pension and no other income and savings of less than 10 grand, then you should be getting an extra £35 a week in pension credit, just very roughly put. Um, what about couples? Um, well, couples, the, the rate is higher, but the same principle would apply. Um, but the other part of pension credit as well, and a lot of people disregard this, 
but it's important is that there's also a savings um, credit as well, which is pretty much it, it, it acts almost like a reward for having savings. A lot of people think that having savings actually puts you off or dis, you know disqualifies you from entitlement, but in fact there's an element built into pension credit that rewards you for having savings. So again, we would encourage people to do benefit checks uh, at the calculator at a to b.org.uk or at, uh, it's also available on the Derry City uh, Council website at derrycity.gov.uk. Okay. There's one thing that's slightly concerning me about this. Well, I know that this is a wonderful achievement that you've managed to get all this money back for people, but I'm slightly concerned that older people that don't necessarily that aren't necessarily computer literate. I mean, isn't there an easier way for them to try and do this rather than go online and then have you know what if they don't have a computer or they don't know how to access one? Do they have to rely on their family? Yeah. It's true that uh, the website does suit a particular type of person, but our entire approach to this hasn't just been to throw it out and make it available to the public. We also have a community development strategy, and what that means is that we've trained, uh, so far we've trained about 160 organisations across the north, organisations who already have older people as clients who will go out and encourage them and help them through the benefit calculator online. Our working assumptions to begin with when we kicked off planning all this about two years ago was that one in ten people over 60 in Northern Ireland would use the internet regularly. That latest figure we've got for that from the Family Resources Survey issued by the government is that it's now near 20%. Nevertheless, that still leaves 8 out of 10 people. We know we want to reach a different way. So essentially, we've been going around various uh, or organisations and community groups. Um, in Derry, for example, uh, we've been working with uh, the, uh, in Dungiven, the Benedict Community Association, Dove House in Derry as well. The MLA constituency offices around the place as well, we're getting around to them, they're getting trained up as well. So that we're, And also the libraries uh, also offer internet access and we've been training some of the library staff to help people through these benefit calculations. So essentially anybody um, who has access to the internet, um, as well as these community groups, we're really also trying to encourage the younger ones in the family and you know, uh, there's now a majority of households in the north who have uh, computers and internet enabled computers at that and we're encouraging the older ones to pressurise their, their younger ones in the family to help them out and show them how all, the, all this works. Just to let people know a little bit about how it works exactly, of just reading uh, th through the detail here, because, I mean, it does sound like a very simple and effective way to do it. So you just, a very quick online questionnaire about your individual circumstances, and then this clever calculator works out the weekly value of any income-related entitlement that you might be due. But on top of that, it highlights loads of other services in your postcode area that might be able to, to help, and then then you can uh, basically print that off or save it to your computer. Yeah, we think one, one of the big advantages of, of the, the benefit calculator is that it, it, it really does cover the, the, the whole uh, gamut of services and benefits that are available to older people in, in the north. Um, and you know that's you know near over 50 services and benefits. So it doesn't just calculate the income-related benefits. It'll also okay. tell you whether you know you're due your free TV license or your Smart Pass or whatever, um, and explain a little bit about all of those other services and benefits that are available. But it produces that on a very simple, uh, plain English report. Um, and as I says, as long as you put in your postcode, it'll also give you then the five nearest places to the, to your postcode that'll give you help if you need it Perfect. to further the application. What's the address again? The web the web address, Patrick. It's a to b. That's letter number letter a to b dot org dot uk. Okay. A and a it's to also dot uk. Yeah, and it's also on the derrycity dot gov dot uk website as well. Patrick, thank you very much indeed for joining me on the programme today. That's Patrick Min there, the Chief Executive of A2B. Sounds like a fantastic website, to be honest. I could do with something to sort out my incomings and outgoings as well. The number to call this morning is 71266522.